Hi there, hey up, it's uh, Jip here from Salvos. So, uh, during lockdown, like many other people, I've been making bread. But you know, all this messing around and stuff, bread's got to go back to its nice, easy to make staple. So, anyway, the recipe I'm using is dead simple. Flour, half a kilo of flour, 500 grams. I'm using this, uh, double zero flour but you can use any really any flour you've got to hand don't bother with self raising because that's got something in that you don't really need uh, but any flour will do I've got 500 grams of flour I've got five grams of instant yeast I've just bunged it in like that I've got 12 grams of salt don't worry I'll write this under in the notes so that's that then what do you need to mix it? A spoon, that's it. So I'll give it a little stir. Three hundred and fifty ml of water. Really? So this is for bread tomorrow. So it's nice and easy, but you just have to think a day in advance. I've been making this every day and I love it. Here we go. So what we're not doing is spending time frantically kneading it. This makes it nice and easy. Don't have to overwork it. So just make sure it's all amalgamated. That's it. It's a bit sticky, so flour it, flour your hands. Give it a little feel, so it feels comfortable. There it is, soft, very soft. That's it. Two minutes stirring. Cover it up. A bit of cling film. My nemesis, the cling film. Few little prickling tins, clean cloth. Bit of a damp cloth there. On top. Find a place for it out of the way and we'll come back to this tomorrow. Right, so 24 hours later, here we are. Let's have a look at it. So, wow, first thing, it's risen magnificently. So this is 24 hours. When I say 24 hours, it's an easy thing. Anything between 20 and 24 hours to suit you. So anyway, there it is. You need a cloth. some flour on it because we're going to roll this out we're going to turn it out onto this cloth get some flowers on your hands scraper trusty scraper I've had this scraper for 20 years so anyway now all we're going to do is we're going to scrape this oh what am I doing before we do that See how I'm foolish, foolish. We need to form it first. So, there we go. As you can see, it's well sticky. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go on there like that. Well sticky. Now a bit more flour on my hands. This is what we're gonna do here with this. Again, you do need flour, like I say, it is sticky. Now we're gonna just flip it over onto there. 
give it as many turns as you want. That's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, from there, it's going on there. Covering it up. We're gonna leave that for an hour, okay? Before I forget is turn the oven on. So we're gonna have the oven on full, as high as you can get it. Mine's 275. So 250 to 275, get it in there, and you need a pan with a lid on, which needs to get really hot. So, my pan's in, oven's on. Okay, I've got that on full light, that's warming up. Your oven needs to be nice and hot. Okay, it's been in for exactly 30 minutes and now we are going to have 10 minutes with the lid off. So let's see if you can get your, have a little look in there. Right. It's looking fantastic. So that is going in there. This is going down to 250. Close it, back in 10 minutes. Right, it's been 10 minutes at 250. Listen to that, big lovely crust on. This is just like an Italian, a loaf of Italian country bread. Uh. Woo! Beautiful. So that's how we make a no fuss, no muss lump of bread. So I do that dough every morning. And then the day after I pull a bit of the dough out and it's actually it's really, really easy. It's just getting the pan in the oven and uh, you're good to go, really. So there you go. Hope you have a bash at home. <laughs>